is she, Doctor? She's going to be fine. Luckily, she has friends like you who got her over here in a jiffy. Uh, how long do I need to lie here? I've got things I need to do. Well, that all depends on your recovery, but I'd say a few days minimum. You guys have got to get me out of here. I'm going to climb the walls. Ooh, just like a spider. Did the crash somehow give her super duper spider powers? No, nor did it give her amazing healing powers. She needs to stay in bed for a few days. A few days? Might as well be a few months or a few years. It's not so bad, Rainbow Dash. I bet the chow in here is hooked looking good. And the hospital gowns, they match the curtains. And look, you have a roommate! for the Sapphire Stone. This is the first story in the series. I own all of them. No, thanks. I so don't read. I'm a world-class athlete. Reading's for eggheads like you, Twilight. <laughs> no offense, but I am not reading. It's undeniably, unquestionably, uncool. She's <laughs> <laughs> oh, she serious? Who doesn't like to read a bang-up tale from time to time? Why, a good book is almost as magnificent as silk pajamas on a Sunday morning. <laughs> reading is for every pony, Rainbow Dash. Yeah, I love reading. And my head is even close to the shape of an egg. It's more the shape of an apple. Or maybe an orange, but a big orange. More like a grapefruit, really. All right, my little ponies. Rainbow Dash needs her rest. You'll have to come back tomorrow. I think you'd like Daring. She's a lot like you. Adventurous. Fierce and undeniably, unquestionably, unstoppable. As Daring Dude trekked through the tropical jungle, the wet heat sapped her energy and slowed her every step. If only she could escape this oppressive atmosphere and fly up into the cool blue sky. But her crash landing in the jungle had injured her wing and she was grounded for a few days. A few days. It might as well be a few months or a few years. I'm right there with you, sister. The mosquitoes buzzed loudly. The macaws cried from the high trees. Yet, all of these distracting noises were not enough to cover the sound of the predators following her every step. <laughs> this was my nest in my house. And now I have to start from scratch. But I, I thought it would make you happy. Happy? Happy? I... I just need some time alone. Hmm. How's the sleepover rarities going? Why, it's smashing. Huh? I just wish we could do something special together that didn't include me goofing anything up. Oh, the sisterhood social. Applejack and I do it every year. You and Rarity can compete against other sister teams in all these neat events. <gasps> that sounds like the perfect way for us to hang out. Rarity will think it's an excellent idea. 
What a ridiculous idea. A contest at Sweet Apple Acres. It doesn't sound very clean. So what? Now you're back to hating messes? Sweetie Belle, watch your tone. I am still your big sister. Right. And any sister who cares about her sister goes. Sweetie Belle, honestly, playing silly little games in the dirt is just uncouth, with or without a sister. Well, then, maybe, maybe I'll try the sister of social without a sister. In fact, I think I'll try the rest of my life without a sister. <gasps> oh, I'm the one who's ruining your life. Really? Have you looked around this place? I'm the one who would be better off with no sister. Well, it looks like we finally agree on something. Neither of us needs a sister. Deal! Deal! Goodbye, unsister! <laughs> uncouth? She said the sisterhood social was uncouth? Yeah! Wait, what's uncouth? It's not just the social. She thinks I'm uncouth. Honey, Rarity thinks everything's uncouth. What's uncouth? It means uncivil, you know, bad-mannered. <laughs> exactly. Sweetie Belle, just give Rarity some time. She'll come around. Sisters always do. Not sisters like Rarity. Come on now. Apple Bloom and I got some chores to finish up on. Maybe you can help. You sure you want me to help? I just mess everything up. Oh, come on. That's just stinking thinking. Watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, good catch there, Apple Blue. <laughs> 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 this is a chore? Since we can't sell the bruised apples, we gotta collect them all for the pig's to eat. It's a lot of work, so we make a game of it. Want to try? Um, okay. Ow! <laughs> You're right. It is hard work. That's why we do it together. together. <laughs> Weirdy never wants to do chores together. Ugh. All that work ruined. Thanks to Sweetie Belle. Oh my! It's usually a big mess in here. I do! This is genius! I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions! Why, if Sweetie Belle hadn't... <clears throat> no matter. She still shouldn't have touched my things without permission. Hm. What's happening to me, Twilight? I don't know. Think back to last night. Did something happen? Spike, what did you do after I saw you? Well, I went to talk to... Spike! Huh? You went to talk to who? Oh, um, I don't remember. Hey, can I have that globe? You're not using it, right? Huh? What about this book? Spike, I'm worried about you. You're usually not so grabby. My arms aren't usually this long either. What's happening to me? Well, now, what seems to be the problem? This is Spike. And something's wrong with him. He used to be half this size, and he keeps trying to take things that aren't his. All right, then. Let's just have a look-see, shall we? Will Guy not feeling too good? Who's the brave will boy? Huh? Who's the brave one? So, what do you think, Doctor? Well, I think I know what the problem is. He's a dragon. That's not the problem. He's always been a dragon. Oh, well, that would explain it. 
Listen, I don't know anything about dragons. I know about baby ponies. Maybe you should try a vet. Uh, okay. Thank you, doctor. Hm. Well, I'm flummoxed. You bring me a dog, I've got it diagnosed in seconds. A snake even faster, but to be honest, I've never seen a real live dragon before. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Sit. Thanks, anyway. Come on, Spike. <laughs> Ooh, he is starting to mature. Of this fact, I am quite sure. Mature? So he's just growing up? But that doesn't explain why he keeps grabbing things. A dragon's heart is prone to greed. A steady diet to make growth speed. Then, the resulting bigger size only makes their hunger rise. If this trait should go unchecked, if Spike continues to collect, more growth will certainly occur. He is going to turn into a monster. <gasps> you mean, the more things a dragon collects, the bigger and greedier he gets? But how do we stop him before he's completely out of control? If his monstrous ways you wish to impede, you must prevent him from practicing greed. <laughs> Get away from her, you brown Spike, what? You're not getting my scooter! <laughs> Spike, what? Hey, Spike, check out this amazing broom. Come on, big boy. Look at this incredible room. Spike! It's fine. It'll all be fine. The day isn't over yet. But it will be over soon. Ugh. It'll be all over. My time in Ponyville. My advanced studies. No, no. You're a good student. You can do this. Oh, but what if I can't? You can. You just have to keep it together. Keep it together. Are you talking to yourself? Twilight? Okay. <laughs> Twilight, I'm really worried. I mean, this letter thing is really getting to you. Here, you've been so anxious all day that you completely forgot about the picnic. Why don't you just relax and go hang out with the me? picnic? I should go see my friends. I'm glad you've come to your senses. I did not forget the plates. I did. I totally forgot them. Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst possible thing. Why? 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 Uh, what? You didn't expect me to lay on the grass, did you? You all right, huh? No! I am not all right. What? Oh, no. I don't no, quite I do. understand. It's just terrible. Yes. yes? Simply awful. Yes? It's the most horrific trouble I've ever been in, and I really, really, really need your help. Yes? My letter to Princess Celestia is almost overdue, and I haven't learned anything about friendship. <sighs> Oh, thank goodness. I thought something really awful had happened. <laughs> something awful has happened! If I don't turn in the letter on time, I'll be tardy! Tardy! Uh. <laughs> no offense, Sugar Cube, but it looks like some ponies getting themselves all worked up over nothing. 
This is not nothing. This is everything. I need you guys to help me find somebody with a problem I can fix before sundown. My whole life depends on it! Oh, Twilight, you're such a crack-up. <laughs> Come on now. Have a seat and stop sweating the small stuff. <gasps> wow, I've never seen Twilight so upset before. Oh, what a drama queen. <clears throat> Relatively speaking. Clock is ticking, Twilight. Clock is ticking. Keep it together. If I can't find a friendship problem, I'll make a friendship problem. <laughs> hi, girls! Oh, hi, Twilight. How's it going? Great. Just great. You three look like you're doing great, too. Looks like three good friends who obviously don't need the help of another good friend. Smarty Pants. She was mine when I was your age, and now I want to give her to you! Uh, she's great. Yeah, great. the elements of harmony. How terrifying! Discord, I figured out your lame riddle. You're in for it now! I certainly am. You've clearly outdueled me, and now it's time to meet my fate. I'm prepared to be defeated now, ladies. Fire when ready. Formation, now! Uh, Rainbow Dash, get over here! <clears throat> All right, let's get this over with. What's going on? Mine's working. There must be something wrong with yours. Sorry, Twilight. I guess I better get back upstairs and clean up the library. Good luck with all this. No! Oops. Sorry, Rainbow Crash. <laughs> Bravo, ponies. Bravo. Harmony in Equestria is officially dead. Discord rules Celestia drools. <laughs> Who are 
you talking to? Any of you! All of you! I'm out of here! I better go, too. I got new, better friends waiting for me at the farm. Yeah, I'm sick of you losers. Fine, leave. See if I care. I don't need you guys either. With friends like you, who needs... enemies? what I just did. Everything okay in there? Who needs a diaper change? Don't worry, they're fine. Oh, I mean... Oh, I've got it. Any pony hungry? Uh, no thanks. I just had a big breakfast. I'm on it. Oh, 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 you're making funny faces. I have one. <laughs> no, you see, Pinky, the babies need to be burnt. Things, pumpkin cake. Except food. Great, <gasps> great cinnamon sticks. I completely forgot. No, you just fed them bottles, remember? Not the baby's food. <gasps> the food for the enormously big catering order we have to deliver today. Oh, with the new twins. We've been so distracted. <gasps> Quick, honey bun. We need to find a babysitter to watch the foals while we take care of this. I can do it. I want to do it. Oh, the babies love playing with me. I'll do it. Wonder who would be available on such short notice? Me! Me! Take me! Oh, I would love to babysit. But I can't today, sorry. We promised Angel we'd go on a picnic. You understand, don't you? You're not mad at me, are you? Please don't be mad at me! I'll do it! Pick me! I have to finish this report for the princess, summarizing all my other reports to the princess. I want to babysit! Pick me! Babysit? Now? When there's a swarm of hungry caterpillars heading this way? I gotta get all these apples picked before they get swarmed on. <laughs> to the Wonderbolts air show this afternoon. Got a dash. Ask me. Me, 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 me. Moi, babysit. Oh, no, 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 no. I am flattered that you would think about me, though. Pinkie Pie, how would you like to babysit for us? <gasps> I don't know. I'll have to check my schedule. <laughs> now, Pinky, are you sure you really understand the responsibility of watching over two babies? I can be responsible. Why, responsibility is my middle name. Pinky Responsibility Pie. <laughs> but this time, you need to take care of them, not just play with them. You have to be responsible. Yes, I know. I will. I am! 
Oh, here you are, dearie. All of your responsibilities are on this list. Whoa, that's a lot of responsi... Consider it done. We'll frost it when we get there. Come on, sugar plum, tick, tick. Tick. all you can do, huh? Competition, so I'm gonna have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. Everything. You gave it your best shot. Maybe I've got a gold star sticker around here somewhere you can have. But seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway... You're all outstanding competitors. But there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against me through Ghastly Gorge. Dun dun dun! Kazoo night. Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun. I've flown through it a million times myself, so obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? Set, go! <laughs> Pony, it was really no big deal. To me, it was. You're my hero, Rainbow Dad. That Rainbow Dash sure is 
something. Something special. Words, and I bet modest is not one of them. No, but she is kind of awesome. Never fear, your friendly neighborhood Rainbow Dash is here. hero thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right, silly. And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name, Rainbow Danger Dash. Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack. How would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! Spike the ghost! I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I can see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive taste, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh... Rarity. Rarity. Pro, seeing the derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con, going to the derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro, Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con, Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. And I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolt Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants.
Rarity. Jolly good to see you. So glad you could make it. Every pony, this is Rarity. She's staying at Canterlot Castle. <gasps> Well, really. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, coats, welcome to the Wonderbolt Derby. The competitors are taking their places at the starting line and are racing to begin momentarily. I'll be rooting for rapid fire, of course. He's sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. <gasps> I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? My friend Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonderbolts. Trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonderbolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh, really? Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. Oh, come on, Miss Tearly. Ask him to be your very special sub pony. Oh, my gosh, look. Big Mac? Yup. You have something stuck in your teeth. Oh, come on! Well, this has been... strange. Yup. I need to get going, but it's always great running into a good friend. Yup. wasn't romantic enough? Maybe it was too romantic. Either way, we failed. Oh, there's gotta be something else we could... Oh! oh, my goodness. I didn't even see you there. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, uh, it's okay, Twilight. It was an accident. I've just been reading the most fascinating book about hearts and hooves day. Did you know that this holiday got its start because of a love potion? <laughs> Did you say a love potion? That's right. It even has the recipe. I don't suppose we could borrow that book for a little while, do you? Of course you can. I have another book here that I think you'll... <laughs> Take a tuft of cloud. A bright rainbow's glow. Stir with the Pegasus feather. Hey! That's not slow. Serve to do ponies who aren't in the know. I feel kind of bad tricking my brother and Miss Cheerley this way. What's the problem? We all agree these two are perfect for one another. Yeah, they just need a little nudge. And what could make them happier than being together, right? Rad. Oh, oh, here they come. Hi, Miss Cheerily. Hello again, girls. Hello, Big Mac. Would you three like to tell us why it was so very important that we meet you here? Punch! Excuse me? Punch! We made punch. We were gonna set up a stand and try to sell it, but <laughs> we needed some pony to taste test it first. Yep. We thought you two would be perfect together. To test it. Together. So, uh, we'll just leave you two alone. Together. To test it. <laughs> I'm very sorry about this. I mentioned to the girls that I don't have a very special sum pony, and I believe they're putting us in these awkward situations because they've decided it should be you. 
<laughs> I suppose we should just humor them for a moment. This punch does look delicious. Yep. I think they're gonna drink it. To good friends. They're drinking it! They're drinking it! <laughs> they're looking into each other's eyes! <laughs> they're, they're about, about to, to be in, in for a big surprise! Big Mac? Yup. Will you be my very special Sumpony? Yup. Yes! He's a special Sumpony. She's a special Sumpony. He's my special Sumpony. Yup. Aww. He's my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. You're my schmoopy doopy sweetie weedy pony pie. Did he just say? You're my cutie patootie lovey dovey honey bunny. You're my hearty smarty smoochy woochy baby weedy. I mean, it was. I mean, it is. Yes, it's pretty. Now put it down. I wonder where Cranky got this. Huh. Will you look at that? Hey, Cranky, can I ask you about... What did you say? Yay, 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 yay! What have you done? Not all better, all soggy! I'm sorry, Cranky. Oh, you're sorry. Well, then everything is fine. It is? No, it isn't! Listen to me, kid. I will never be your friend. Never or never ever? Never, ever, 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 ever! That's four evers. That's like forever. I just can't believe it. Cranky said he would never, forever be my friend. It was horrible. I know this is hard for you, Pinky, seeing that you're friends with every pony, but you just have to accept that Cranky is going to be an exception. He just doesn't want to be bothered. Yeah, he doesn't want to be bothered by your over the top super hyper antics. Rainbow! No, no. It's okay, Twilight. I get what you're saying, what you're both saying, and I guess. I can leave Cranky alone. Right after he accepts my apology. Cranky! No! No! Leave me alone! Wait! I understand that you don't want me as a friend! No! I don't! So I just wanted to say I'm sorry! Fine! You said it! But do you accept my apology? No! Oh, Cranky, please accept my apology! Please! No! But I'm really, really, really... <laughs> really, really... Ah! Really, really, really... Really, really, really... There's nothing you can do. You ruined my book. You destroyed all I have to remember her by. Her? Her who? The special friend? Go away, Pinky! Cranky, it's me again. I understand. 
understand that you don't want to be my friend or accept my apology. But before I leave you alone forever, I have something to at least try to make up for ruining your book. No, I don't want it, kid. Anything you would give me is sure to lead to some sort of disaster. Goodness, you really are cranky. It can, and it is. Matilda, but how? Binky. Shy, what are you doing? That's no way to behave. Didn't you see what he did to new Fluttershy? And he thought new Fluttershy was a pushover. No, sweetie, he didn't. We saw the whole thing. We think that you've taken your assertiveness training a little too far. What? You just want new Fluttershy to be a doormat like old Fluttershy. But old Fluttershy is gone! New Fluttershy? Old Fluttershy? What happened to nice Fluttershy? We want that Fluttershy back. No, you want wimp Fluttershy. You want pushover Fluttershy. You want do anything to her and she won't complain Fluttershy. Yeah, too many Fluttershy's to keep track of. Make it stop. Things getting too complicated for your simple little brain. Right there! Let's not let things descend into petty insults. Why not? I thought petty was what you're all about, Rarity, with your petty concerns about fashion. <gasps> hey, leave her alone! Fashion is her passion! Oh, and what are you passionate about? Birthday cake? Party hats? I can't believe that the two most frivolous ponies in Ponyville are trying to tell New Fluttershy how to live her life when they are throwing their own lives away on pointless pursuits that no pony else gives a flying feather about! <laughs> Looks like nasty Fluttershy is here to stay! Oh, I cannot believe what that monster Iron Will has done to you! <laughs> <laughs> Iron Will's not a monster! He's a Minotaur! I'm the monster. I become a monster. Oh, sweetie, you're not a monster. No, but he is. Iron Will's my name, training ponies is my game. What a darling little catchphrase. Your friend Fluttershy loved Iron Will's catchphrases. Word on the street is that she doesn't take no guff from no pony. So, Iron Will is here to collect Iron Will's fee. Fluttershy is in no shape to deal with that creep. Uh, I'm sure a big, brave, powerful, and rich monster, I mean, Minotaur, like you, doesn't need that money right away. You can afford to come back later. Are you kidding? Fluttershy is overdue as it is. Iron Will collects now. Do something. We're not even sure Fluttershy is home right now. Uh, she might be off frolicking with some woodland creatures. Uh, why don't you give us some time to track her down for you? Iron Will does have some grocery shopping to do. Iron Will will come back this afternoon. But that's only half a day. We need one full day at least. Iron Will will delay for half a day and no longer. A full day. Half day. Full day. Half day. Half day. Full day. We need half a day and no more. Well, you'll get a full day and no less. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow. Wait, what? Huh. 
Uh, sounds like the search won't be necessary. Iron will collects now. Oh, we have an agreement. You better come back tomorrow. When some pony tries to block, show them that you rock. The answers you seek. Let us consult the mystical orb of fate's destiny. Do you like my mystical orb of fate's destiny? I just got it. Cool, huh? Yeah, uh, best one I've seen. Look deep into the crystal ball, for soon it will reveal all. Ah, yes, I see something. It is a vision of the future. I see you, Twilight. You will get a really cool birthday present next year. Yes, and that's it. Are you sure? Yep. Cool birthday present. Pinky, I need your pinky sense to tell me what the impending disaster is that Future Twilight was trying to warn me about. Oh, my fortune telling has nothing to do with my pinky sense, silly. It's only good for vague and immediate events. Like that. See? Where did that even come from? La 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 Gosh, I haven't seen Twilight since the flower pot incident. Hope she still isn't mad. Uh... Off by point zero two from yesterday. Carry the 15. Negative azimuth on the 14th moon. Hey, Pinky. Twilight's really serious about finding out about that cool birthday present, isn't she? Who cares? As long as I can keep eating ice cream. Sorry, future Spike. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay? Ah, Pinky, I'm glad you're here. Can you help me recalibrate the apertures on the nine and quarter catadioptric telescopes? Sure! So I was thinking, after I came to see Madam Pinky and the flower pot landed on my head, see the bandage, just like the bandage from the future. Nice! I had an epiphany after that flower pot. Doing things didn't work, not doing things didn't work, and I couldn't predict the future either, so I only had one other choice. Monitor everything. Makes sense to me. That way, no matter what happens in the future, I'll be ready. I thought I saw something last night in the Horsehead Nebula, but after staring at it for three straight hours, I realized I was wrong. Three hours? But when did you sleep? Oh, I didn't sleep. I haven't slept since Future Twilight was here. There are only three days left until next Tuesday. I can sleep all I want after that. You've been awake too long, Twilight. Yeah, Tuesday's not three days from now. Tuesday's tomorrow. <gasps> Pinky, did you finish recalibrating the apertures on the nine and quarter inch catadioptric telescopes? I have no idea. Ow! My eye! Don't worry, Twilight. I have eye patches stashed all over Ponyville in case of eye patch emergency. There! Now you look like a pirate. A sleepy pirate with a really weird mane cut. The eye patch. Another sign. Nearly all the signs have come true. I haven't done a thing to prevent the catastrophe. If Tuesday's tomorrow and the disaster happens by Tuesday morning, then there's only one solution. I'll just have to stop time. Okay, the Canterlot archives are right over there. Let's move. I don't think we need to sneak around, Twilight. It's not illegal to walk around Canterlot. Sorry! Come on, you guys! Oh, that was close. I don't know why we have to wear these things, either. Aren't we wearing them for fun? No, there's nothing fun about this. Oh. Are you sure? Focus, guys. The only way to prevent this disaster is to stop time. Time spells are kept in the Star Swirl the Bearded Wing, the most secure section of the archives. That's why we're sneaking around. Awesome! That sounds fun! <laughs> Forget it. I don't like ponies touching my hooves. Man. I'd love it if Gabby Gums did a story on me. She did one on me. What? Ah! Exclusive. Local dragon tells all. Spock opens up about Canterlot, Naps, and his fight for jams. It's our best column yet. More like your worst column yet. 
Yappy Gums didn't become the biggest thing in Ponyville with Namby Pamby stories like this. Uh, yeah, she's right. This column is a little softer than our usual gossip. Were you guys feeling guilty about all the gossip too? Like, maybe we could be hurting other ponies' feelings? Yeah, I didn't want to say anything because every pony loves Gabby Gums so much, but I was sort of hoping we could start writing more stories like this one. Me too. If we're gonna get our cutie marks, we've got to give the ponies what they want. Aww. Aww. Applejack, asleep on the job. Can y'all believe this? And this one, Big Macintosh, what's he hiding? Who the hey does this Gabby Gums think she is? Listen to this one. Twilight Sparkle, I was a canterlot snob. A well-placed scaly source close to the prissy pony says Twilight Sparkle thinks Ponyville is nothing but muddy roads and low-class rubes. Spike! <laughs> How could you say such a thing? Well, I didn't! Gabby Gums made that up! I never said anything like that! Every pony, please! She's just a harmless school pony engaged in a little idle gossip. You're really making too big a deal out of this. But it's all lies! Gabby Gums prints whatever she wants. She doesn't care whose reputation she destroys. Fluttershy has tail extensions. Pinkie Pie is an out-of-control party animal. What? It's true! I do have a problem! <laughs> oh, look! According to this one, the cakes are breaking up. We are? Well, my life is officially over. Gabby Gums has made it to Cloudsdale. Rainbow Dash, Speed Demon or Super Softy? I grabbed as many copies as I could, but it was too late. I'm a laughing stock. See, Rarity, your so-called harmless gossip can be very hurtful. Honestly, you ponies have no sense of humor. So she tweaks a few ponies every now and then. Maybe they deserve... <gasps> I'll destroy her! The Drama Queen Diaries. She's reprinted my diary. How could Gabby Gum possibly get access to my private diary? We've got to put a stop to this once and for all. Sweetie Belle's on the newspaper staff. Maybe she knows who Gabby Gums is. <gasps> My sister would never associate with someone as beastly as Gabby Gums. I resent you even suggesting such a thing, Twilight. Why, she's the most innocent, most lovely, most evil pony in Equestria. How could my own sister steal my private diary? How could my own sister be Gabby Gums? Gabby Gums! You know? How'd you find out? The gilded pages of your betrayal! Oh, yeah. How could you do this to me? You stole my sacred diary and published it for all the world to read! Gossip can be a very hurtful thing. It is an invasion of privacy. Just like when I snooped through your saddlebag. You didn't like that much, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs>